up, guys? Welcome back to Talking Rad, the podcast with your hosts, the Radcats. And uh, I think we're episode 10. Let's yeah. just get a round of claps. Episode 10, baby, yeah. 10 episodes. Baby. That's 10 baby. weeks. 10 straight weeks of doing this thing. <laughs> We've, we haven't and missed. I'm, we haven't missed a week. I'm again. still kind of sick, and I don't know why. It's been like three weeks, thing. I know. You've been no, sick. No, only one week, man. Don't over dramatize. Okay, it, two man. weeks, fine. You've been sick for two weeks. You were sick one. last week. I've been sick for one week. You were sick last week. Yeah, that's when it started. And this makes week two. So yeah, one week officially. It started last week. Yeah, it started last week, so it's been about a week ago. Okay. Well, about a week ago. Week ago. About a week ago. Yeah. Anyway, you've been sick for ten percent of our podcasts. Yeah. And probably. Wait, no, 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 twenty percent, because this is the second podcast yeah. you've been sick for. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Seriously, but anyway, thank you guys for stopping in, checking out the video, and uh, let's just let's just jump right into it. They found some controversial material that. Uh, of course, we got to bring it up because we are a controversial channel. Not channel. We're a controversial podcast. Yeah. You know, Black Panther, new movie, new Marvel movie coming out, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe of films. It's it's getting pretty complicated. Uh, I, I'm probably going to go see the, sec, the second Avengers film to come out after this one, which is like, which was called Infinity War Part 2, but now it's going to have a new name. Whatever. But I'm probably going to see them up until they have Phase 4, and then I'm probably just going to drop it because I, I, I don't, like, it's it's too much. It's too much. But a new one came out called Black Panther, and it's it's uh, Marvel's first super movie to have a black superhero, but it's, but it's not the first one to have a black superhero. That was, like, I think it was, like, Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. Pause. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, we had a... No, don't even yeah, say it. Yeah, okay. Okay, back. Okay. Back into it, uh. So yeah, there's a, so um, the yeah the first uh black superhero movie I think was like uh, Steel with Shaquille O'Neal, that was a DC character and it wasn't very good because you know, uh, Shaq isn't a good actor. Uh, I don't I don't know. He was in uh, Scary Movie three and I thought he was good. Well, have you seen many Adam Sandler movies? Yeah, I see. He was in that one Adam Sandler movie. Um, Jog my memory. Good grown ups, too? Yes, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, I've seen some clips. He's not very good. And he wasn't good in that one either. But, uh, yeah, uh, Black Panther, um, uh, it's, uh, it's a movie that's released on Black History Month. I never forget that. To, uh, February is Black History Month, and, uh, Black Panther is a black superhero, and um, yeah, like it's been he's been there since the beginning. He's was like uh one of the first superheroes created in the '60s, uh, and he hasn't gotten his his own movie uh since. But now here he is with a new movie, uh, with his very first movie, not his first movie appearance. That was Civil War, but here he is, and uh. There's been some controversy about it regarding race. Of course, the typical topic that human beings like to poop around, and it just stinks. It always yeah. stinks. Every argument is so stupid, and it's I don't like both sides. It's silly. Yeah. Like it's mostly started by the alt right uh, and the alt left. Um, also, are kind of like I, I I don't agree with the alt left on a lot of stuff either, but. Uh, and I probably don't agree with whatever they're saying. Like, Black Panther is good, but there's one thing in the movie that was racist. Is like, shut up, shut up. You know, stop, just stop. And then the alt writer would be like, uh, a black superhero. And I was like, shut up, just shut up, man. Come on. So yeah, I I think both sides just shut up about it. It's stupid. Yeah. Don't look at people as color. Why does it matter? Yeah. Black Panther. Panthers are black. That is an observation. That is a fact. Panthers are black, right? Yeah. Okay. Black Panther. Not because the actor's black or anything about it. Or the black. character's black. Because yeah. he's, he wears a cool panther suit. He just has an awesome suit and he jumps around and he, and he 
power stomps cars. Like, it's so cool. Like, he, he's a cool superhero. And okay? leave, it, leave it at that. It's awesome. Yeah. Nobody and he throws... has his own movie, and that's awesome. Yeah, nobody threw a fit that uh, the Falcon guy was black. Well, the... Yeah, Falcon. It's yeah, Falcon. Just... You know, yeah. What's the difference now? He's black in the comic books, making black in the movie. Yeah. Uh, well, Nick Fury. Nobody, nobody complained with Nick Fury was black because guess what? He's played by Samuel Jackson. Everyone's like, oh, we love Samuel Jackson. Yeah. But um, yeah. But uh, since I guess Black Panther you is tighten that up. Turn it. Yeah, there you go. Turn it up and then. And actually, here's the thing. Fixing my mic. I don't think anybody complained when Black Panther was first, like, introduced in, like, Civil War. Because, like, oh, new character. Now they have a problem when he gets his own movie, and I don't know why. Of course, this is mostly just racist people. Because, like, apparently, I don't know why. Like, because of the... I'm not saying the internet. This is mostly to blame because of the internet. But, like, people are really racist on the internet. This is probably just to trigger other people like to piss other people off that's what it is it's just for attention like in real life you're not gonna walk up to a black guy and say oh you n-word or you're not gonna walk up to a white guy and say oh you (laughs) you white racist bastard like you don't say things to people like that you can think it all you want but you would never say that to a person like that's a problem with the internet is you'll never you don't know who that person is you know nothing about them and you have the freedom to spout out whatever you want of course i've been i've been talking a while and probably like, okay, so what's the controversial things? Well, for one, before the movie came out, it's like two weeks ago, there was this, someone found this racist, like this Facebook group that was planning to review bomb Black Panther. They were planning it, and they openly admitted it, and so Facebook shut them down. Like, idiots, don't don't state something like that. Like, uh, if you're private, maybe they're private and someone found out, but like, that's why I hate about today, like, uh, opinions on movies, like, if something gets overwhelming praise, there's gonna be, like, a group of people who are gonna, like, talk bad about it, like, and I don't know why, like, why can't something be really good, and we can agree on that? Well, that's the thing, that's with, that's with anything in life, no matter what it is, whether it's good or bad, you're gonna have people that love it, and people that hate it. Yeah, but... Look at, look at everything out there, name one thing that has been... Good for the world, and yet people still yeah. just don't like it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, um, no, it's it's mostly just a movie or a video game. But when like it, it, a lot of people like it, like, there's just a, uh, this might be like just a vocal minority, but like it sticks out. Like it's like a bunch of uh, a pit of green balls, and then there's one red ball. Like green balls are like a positive opinion and the red balls are negative it's gonna stick out yeah well in that that sucks but at the same time don't just listen to other people's opinions like about yeah. especially about movies and reviews go out and watch it yeah. for yourself go out watch it go for yourself. form your own opinions and that's the problem with the news and social media and reviews is it's just other people's opinions. You don't know what's true until you go out there and actually experience it for yourself. There were a lot of people taking shots at Star Wars, and I watched since like it wasn't that bad. Sure, I had problems with it, but it wasn't that bad. I think it's because yeah. well, for Star Wars, I think people's yeah. expectations were so high, and then yeah, like what they wanted, yeah. but then the the director and right Ryan Johnson was like, no, this is what I want, and then the people got pissed. It's like. Why why can't you just agree that the creator like wanted to make this version and like if he like it's more like they will didn't you, agree will it's you like go flip these lights off oh, the okay. light switch I forgot sorry about the noise everybody we left our our uh, backup lights on and they are really terrible the but mic picks them up. yeah but no I I know what you're saying you know about the yeah. director and. Him saying it all that, but yeah. did you know that the director that directed the first one, <laughs> well, not the first one, number seven, yeah. wasn't the same director who directed number I know, eight. it's J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Uh, and also, well, back on to Black Pit, well, yeah, Star Wars, everyone's made their peace with that. Pe- anyway, uh, yeah. opinions, form yeah, your own. Pi- yeah, form your own. Go go and see stuff. Sure, it's, it's okay to go look at critic reviews and, like, Audience crew said, hmm, I think I'm I'm just going to skip out on that one. But uh, you, sometimes it's good to form your own opinion. Like, 
some really bad movies. I've like seen like trailers and what people said. It's like, hmm, maybe I won't go see that. But yeah, but like, that's the thing. Like sometimes, you, but you won't know until you experience it. Like I probably won't know how bad Sonic 06 is until I actually play it. But from saw the Game Grumps playthrough, let me tell you, <laughs> I don't want to play it. It's a beauty. But anyway, so the controversial thing that <laughs> we're finally getting around to that Thane's going to talk about is uh, the magnificent world of Twitter <laughs> and how yeah. just a freaking piece of garbage. I'm not saying Twitter's bad. I'm saying the garbage that people puke yeah. on there. Any is social just, media platform yeah. has bad people on it. They're just going to use it for bad reasons. Well, it's good It's good and bad. Yeah. It, like, there's both sides. But yeah. this is terrible. This is above and beyond. This is like stupid i don't know yeah. why somebody would think this is a good idea and actually do it yeah. like to actually act upon one of your stupid ideas yeah that's stupid and the thing Can is I say stupid enough yeah the thing is what it is is um somebody like when black panther premiered as the week we're filming it which was uh like february 15th 16th what's today today's the 17th okay so the 16th uh um people were like People were tweeting out saying, I went to Black Panther with my girlfriend and these black people come up and say, you're in the wrong movie theater and hit her in the over the head with a bottle. It's like, and it's like, wow, that sounds pretty awful. Then you find out people figured out they're fake. People faked a lot of tweets just to say like black people are attacking white people at a Black Panther screen at at theaters when they go see Black Panther and it's like that like if you think about it it doesn't really make sense and there's it's probably one person behind this or like a group of people doing this because like they're all just black people attacking white couples like it like when you see it all it's like there's like a it kind of like you see a connection and you realize okay this is probably fake this is fake and here's the thing that makes no sense when Black Panther is a superhero movie, I don't, I think, like, the most, like, violent thing that's happened is nerds getting in arguments, like, comic book fans getting in arguments over whether or not they like the film. That's just, I don't know how, when, when's that, if that's ever happened. It probably hasn't because, you know, people are usually civil. And, uh, number two, like, uh... I don't think this has ever really happened with, like, movies about focus on black people in general. Like, do you think people got attacked, but do you think black people got attacked by white people, like, uh, by white people? No, it's the other way around, sorry. You think white people got attacked by black people because they went to go see Get Out? Have you ever heard that? No. Have you ever, like, when people went to go see Straight Outta Compton, like, when... People wanting to go, like white people wanting to go see a really good uh, uh, bi biopic. You think uh, some like hardcore hip hop fans like pulled their gats and said, "Hey, what the f you doing in this movie theater?" No, like, so why would it happen in a Black Panther mo a movie for like comic book nerds? The like, guy that created the movie was white. Yeah, Stan Lee is yeah, white. Yeah, so it's not like. And that's not Stan Lee created it just because he wanted like a diversity, like a diverse superhero. Like he's like, there's a lot of white people. Maybe we should make someone black with like, like the, and he's a king of his own country. Like he made him a king of his own country. Made him like super smart. Made him. I think he built the suit. I think yeah, I think he did because well, he's a like Chital is a scientist, so he made him like a soup like a really awesome superhero and I don't get why black people would attack white people just because they want to go see a superhero movie it's 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 a lot yeah. that's all it is it's stupid it's not like it's not like you go to a rap show and then uh, the singer's black so you can't go yeah. in no he doesn't care that's the stupid thing that I don't understand why society <laughs> is talking about this don't look at color look at yeah. people for what they are you know who you cares? Know, that's the, Who and it's less, cares? I realize that it's less about color, about like ethnicity, and more about culture. Cause, like, if you have like a group of like a bunch of different ethnicities raised together in like the same culture, they're gonna think the same, they're gonna act the same. 
But then, like, there's, like, cultures where it's just mostly black people listen to rap music. It's going to be a culture where white people listen to country. It's more about the culture than the race or ethnicity. Race, you see, the thing about the word race, it's not black race or white race. Race means human. Like, we're all part of the human race. The color of your skin is actually an ethnicity. That's yeah. just a technical term, but... Yeah. So I guess ethnicity is a harder word to say. I, I feel like a lot of people don't yeah. even understand, like the when it, when they say, "Oh, you're just being racist." <laughs> I don't think people really understand that. Like, you can make observations, you can point out statistics, yeah. but like, it's stupid. There's people are people, you know. Why do we have yeah. to separate into groups? I've said this before on the podcast, but I don't understand the separation by color, by gender, yeah. by what you like to do, by uh, your sexuality. Like, why? Does it matter? People have their own opinions. Why does it matter? You don't go out and shoot some guy because he bought Cinnamon Toast Crunch over Captain Crunch. You know, you don't go yeah. shoot a guy because he likes chocolate milk over regular milk. Or you don't beat somebody up because they like this or that. You let people just be people, you know. Don't, I don't know. Yeah. The, the, the whole separation thing is stupid. <laughs> I, don't, so, yeah. I don't enjoy it. But this is why I stay yeah. out of all... The politics of everything. Yeah. Like, I had tons, and I lived in a, uh, in a, it was a mostly black country. Like, I lived in the Caribbean for a while. Dude, those people are great, and they're awesome. And yeah. you spend enough time around them, you forget that you're, even, you know, I, because you just don't see it. They're just people. Like, when I see black people now, it doesn't even register. They're just people to me, because I've been around it so much. And I understand, like, this was, sometimes people were raised this way, like, I, my grandparents were raised in the uh, – this was back in, like, the 1920s. And they were raised when it was it was pretty racist back then, you know. Yeah. And they never understood it. Like, they didn't know why their their parents were racist. And uh, – excuse me. Oh. But they, uh, they weren't um, – they weren't racist. They didn't understand why their parents were. But their parents were raised to believe that, you know. It's just yeah. been passed down from generation to generation. And I'm sure on the opposite side of the spectrum where the racist was like like it was happening, like with the black people, uh-huh. I'm sure it's been passed down from generation to generation <laughs> saying how um, how bad white people are, you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's, which I'm not saying that's how it is, but you can kind of see what I'm trying to get at, right? Like stuff gets passed down from generation to generation. It's just like no different than history. Our our I mean American history about the World War 2 is probably 100% different than Japanese history about World War 2. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's it's all just a bunch of bogus. <laughs> I think yeah. It's just I don't know. People really need to rethink their uh, priorities and instead of like attacking each other for being a different color, how about we uh join together and try to make this world a better place yeah i I was thinking like after after like people like all american citizens got rights same as white people like all blacks asians uh, hispanic got the rights i think like i thought like like people back then probably thought oh we're gonna come together we're gonna be good people uh now sure some like white people were like Oh, uh, this is terrible. We're letting the blacks everywhere. But it's like some people are like, "Wow, uh, they're gonna change their ways." But now it feels like, uh, now it doesn't really feel like that. We feel like more racially divided because Never. of, I guess, yeah, mm-hmm. like because of social media and anonymity. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, so just remember, if you're a black person. And you're bothered that there's a bunch of white people going to a movie about a black superhero. Just remember, who's that movie for? It's for that, everybody. For everybody. That movie's for comic book nerds because Black Panther's been around since the 60s. Okay, but nobody would care. Like, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Who's going to care? that? All if right. you have a problem, rethink. Like, rethink. Oh, I shouldn't have a problem with this because this is a movie... Like, yes, it's a movie about black superhero, and he's, and like, it's in a black country, but think, it's a superhero that's been around since the 60s, and only really comic book nerds have followed this superhero. Just because he got his own movie doesn't really, ch- shouldn't really change that. Yeah, well, that's the thing, is it's not true. I, I mean, I, I'm sure maybe some, you know, 
blessed soul out there would get pissed and start beating up people, but I doubt it. Yeah. You know, people aren't – that's not people's first intentions is look at somebody and judge them immediately by their color, you know. That's not people's first intentions. And you're especially not going to beat somebody up because they're going to the movies. Yeah, and I, I – so, like, since I say that, I don't know how many, like, people of, like, what ethnicity they are who watch this. Uh, It's probably – mostly white since we're in the west midwest but yeah like just go watch a movie don't worry about any racist stuff i don't think i don't don't honestly, don't like be racist myself. that's all that's all i was saying don't be racist go watch a movie and if you enjoyed it Enjoy that's it, great because yeah. i i haven't seen this movie but it looks great well in like at least i can speak this for myself but like when you watch a movie you don't think about the character's color or ethnicity or anything. You watch the movie because it, you're there to watch the movie. Like like Will Smith movies or take Star Wars, for example, how um, Mace Windu was black. That didn't even register. You're just like, oh, he's a – you don't say, it's oh, Samuel he's Jackson. And, like yeah, if any say, movie oh, is Samuel – you don't care if – I really don't care if Sa- – you think about Samuel Jackson. I don't care if he's black. He's cool. He says it mother, mother – mother – a lot. Yeah. Uh, well, in – I think another problem is, and I've seen this a lot within the media, is how come, um, especially talking about, you know, these past issues or whatever, how come it's okay for black people to joke about being black and and X Y Z and slaves and stuff, but as soon as a white person says it, it's like, Satan, oh my gosh. Yeah, well, yeah, things people are being sensitive. I think, <laughs> and sometimes when like. Um, like Dave Chappelle, like when he does race jokes, like it's like about black people, like yeah. he, he ma- like th- I like that, but like I don't like when uh black people are making fun of white people, especially when it's not funny. Now when it's funny, sometimes like, ha, huh, that that's uh, I I didn't get I didn't ca- catch that. That's that's pretty clever, but when it's like just. Saying like, "Look at this stupid whitey!" Like that's not clever at all. Well, and I yeah. I feel like most professional comedians would never say something silly like that. Yeah. But, like the point is, is like, if one person can't say it, but others can, like that, I don't agree. Yeah, with that's that. a divi- like, That's a big divide. It that is, we need and that's to get the, rid of. That's the problem. Yeah. Is people are really divided. They see. <laughs> I don't know. They just pick and choose the fights they want to fight. You know. Yeah. Which I don't. I don't really care. I really just stay out of it. I try to at least. I know we've kind yeah. of, we've dug ourselves a big hole within this podcast talking yeah. about it, but I guess we haven't dug a hole. Like people don't talk about this though. Yeah. Why don't people? People just pretend that everything's okay. They close their eyes or they look the other way and yeah. just pretend it's okay when it's not. You know, let's quit lying to ourselves and let's figure it out. What's the problem? What's the main thing? I don't think it's the color or ethnicity. I don't think people really care about it. I think the problem is is people think that they're better than others or they feel less than others, you know? Like, I know one thing that – I watched a video on this the other day, but I know one thing that makes a lot of people mad is there's Black History Month. You know, if there was White History Month, people would be upset about it. Yeah. You know, why, why does there have to be – it shouldn't be Black or White History. It should be, like, a, a American History Month, yeah. you know, or – Whatever, and I'm not trying to take and, anything and away from anybody. I'm just saying that's dividing. Yeah. You're dividing yeah. uh, blacks and whites right there by saying this is Black History Month. Well, hell, I guess there's nothing for the whites. Let's just have a month dedicated to show yeah. how shitty of a human race we were way back when, what you guys did to the black people. And it's like, listen, come on. All those people that were a part of that are dying off, you know? And the one thing to say, uh, Morgan Freeman um, – very famous black person, uh, like the godly voice, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, one time in an interview, he said, I don't get why we have Black History Month. This, like, we shouldn't really have a Black History Month. Uh, that's like he said, he just doesn't get it. Like, it's like, why should we have a hip month dedicated to one race history, one racist history? I'm when saying, we could, dude. The problem is, is we yeah. keep putting ourselves in groups of white, black, Spanish, yeah. uh, Mexican, you know, African American. It's like, come on, let's let's unite. We're all humans. We all have the same blood yeah. flowing through our bodies. You know, I heard, and when I lived in the Caribbean, I heard the Rastas say that all the time. They'd walk up to me because there was one island I lived on. I was the only white guy for 
the whole island. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a small island, but it wasn't yeah. humongous. You know, I think it was like eighty thousand people or something. And I lived in a village where I was the only white guy for you know, I don't, I don't know, twenty miles or so. And yeah. I, you just don't care. Like it just doesn't register. You just see people as people. That's how it should be. And I believe we can get there one day. But the problem yeah. is, is people feel like they're either less than or they they're greater than. You know. Sometimes people feel, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Entitled? Uh, entitled, kind of, but they feel like, uh, I, I honestly think the issue is pride. It's not yeah. black, it's not white. You know, there's we have to do the whole minority thing and the majority. It's like, come on, no, you don't need that. It's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the solution, but I know not talking about it isn't going to help, you know? Yeah. So I just... Which and I don't think it's everybody. I think there's there's less people concerned about race than there are people that are concerned about it. You know, I honestly, you go ask anybody on the streets, and I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, people would say, oh, "I don't really. It doesn't bother me. I don't care." You know, because yeah. nobody likes to be divided. Because when you divide, then you um, now have opened up the door to saying who's better. You know. You've divided groups. Now, who's the better group? And that's, I think that's like human nature. <laughs> to, they want to be better. They want to one up everybody or whatever, which is stupid. And I just don't agree with. Pause. Anyway, it's just, I don't know. Like I said, I don't think it's a matter of, of ethnicity. I think it's just a matter of pride. Yeah. White people are very prideful. I think some black, like black people are prideful too. It's just, People are prideful. I shouldn't even say white or black. It's just people in general are prideful. Yeah. They want to be better, and it's like, wait, no. Let's all, I don't know. Let's just let's take our energy and our focus away from this silly topic, this silly subject, and go to something else. You know, Take that energy, time we're wasting, and try to make the world a better place. Don't mm -hmm. sit and dilly-dally with something so silly. I agree with what Morgan Freeman's saying. Why does there need to be a Black History Month? You know, that's yeah. dividing itself. But I, it's just, I don't know. People, and I'm not saying it's people's fault. They were probably raised this way, born and raised this way. Yeah. I, myself, wasn't. You know, we never worried about anything like that. That was not even a discussion. My family never said anything about being racist. I was always taught that no matter who you come in contact with, you be good to that person. Treat them, yeah. treat them how you would want to be treated. It doesn't matter if they're white, black, girl, Spanish, Mexican, male, female, you know? Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Um. That's... Sorry, I got thrown off. Sky just left camera in mid conversation. But yeah, that's uh that's our little talk about race. Yeah, our okay. weekly race talk. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about it. I mean it's yeah. I think the whole subject of black, white, you know, whatever ethnicity you are. Yeah. I think it's stupid. Yeah. I think but we should whatever. all just be come together. Yeah. What did the yeah. Beatles say? Yeah, come together right now over me. Maybe not the over me part, but... Yeah, but come together. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I really do think the world's a good place. There's a lot of good people in it. I know that the news wants you to think otherwise because they only portray all the bad things that go on, but there's so much more good than bad that goes on in this earth, and if that weren't true, then I'm pretty sure this place would be a horrible place to live. Yeah. You know? If you turned off the news and turned off the social media, just do it for a day and just feel how much more peace you have in your life. Then do it for a week. Just try it. Just try yeah. and see what happens, you know. Stay out of the news. The news doesn't – the news sends you filtered information. Like the news, they show you what they want you to see. You know, think yeah. about that. It's all filtered information, you know, because you're not there. You're not on the scene of whatever happened where, you know. Yeah. You're not there. You don't know. So don't believe everything that the news throws at you. And I feel like <laughs> because of the internet, people are getting better at that, and they know it's yeah. not just believe everything that they see and read. So Yeah, don't be sheep. Don't be sheeple. Yeah, absolutely. Don't be sheep. Yeah. But, yeah, that's... that's uh, 
stuff that is uh can probably continue on the conversation down in the comments but uh, I just want to say like uh gosh dang it I lost my train of thought but okay um so sky also like let's let's share something positive that sky brought up and that's uh our local girls basketball team oh in yeah so early on to uh as we speak our time not yeah. when you guys see this but our girls basketball team for the high school is actually playing for the state championship game which in uh, in Idaho the state championship especially basketball is like the Super Bowl for Idaho. Yeah. So they're playing tonight at uh, 6 p.m., so in two and a half hours, and they're playing against uh, Century High School, which is um, east of us. To It's Pocatello, Idaho Falls area. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's exciting. <coughs> uh, if they won, I'll put, like, right here if they won or not. If they won, I'll put it here. If they lost, then you probably <coughs> I'm not going to say anything. But anyway, that's cool. I my sister and my cousin are actually playing in that game, so I I hope all goes well yeah. for them. It's really cool. This is the first time, and I think over ten years that a Burley High School team has actually been playing in a state championship game. Like we yeah. we've made it to the state tournament, but we actually haven't played in the state championship game in over ten years. Okay then. Uh, but, but that's cool. Yeah. Give a like for that. But. Yeah, um, on to whatever next subject we have, uh, I guess, um, we, that, that's the only subject we, we usually write down what we want to talk about beforehand, a little behind the scenes for you guys, and, uh, I only really thought about that, so, if Sky can think of anything, I'll go into my movie talk. Well, I, uh, I think one thing, yeah. at least for me. One thing I want to establish yeah. before we go on is yeah. I'm not a racist person. I'm I love not, all individuals. I'm not I don't care if you're black, white, gay, straight, you know, male, female, Mexican, Indian, Hindu. I don't care what your religion is. Yeah. Like, I don't see that. I don't think that defines who somebody is. You know, let your actions speak who you are, not what you believe or anything like that. That's one thing I, I've always never, like, understood yeah. is why do you have to judge somebody based upon their beliefs? Just because somebody believes in waking up and going and kneeling towards the sun and saying a 10-minute prayer every day, and they wear yarmulkes or whatever, or, or the veils, well, who cares? Let, let that person be, that's what they want to do, let them do it. If somebody wants to wake up at 4 in the morning and go for a walk because that's their religion, awesome. You know, If somebody yeah. wants to, to sleep in until 10 o'clock and do nothing all day because that's what they think is good like it just whatever it is like it doesn't yeah it doesn't bother me i don't really care so it's not that i don't care about people yeah. in specific i just don't care what you do like as long as you're doing good and not trying to harm the world great yeah but if somebody from a specific group goes and does something bad like i'm not going to judge the whole group on it yeah it's just like the whole terrorist attacks just because those people were middle eastern doesn't mean everybody from the middle east is a horrible person yeah you know? Um, but that's just, uh, I just wanted to establish yeah. that. So if no. you want to call me racist or whatever and say how horrible of a person I am, that's fine. I'll still love you. Yeah. Like I, I agree with Sky. uh, whatever, uh, ethnicity or religion you are, uh, doesn't bother me, but, uh, just don't do horrible things. Like, uh, I know that in the Muslim religion, there's been a lot of like, they like, I think some people like uh believe that like they kill for their beliefs but there's i think there's some muslims that don't believe that that want to change that because i think that doing bad things for i think that doing bad things for a religion is not good i think that um a religion should like if you believe in a religion uh you should like uh, do good things. Yeah, do good things. You know, what yeah. a lot of people believe in this higher power. Yeah. Well, this higher power is positive energy. Yeah, and hurting and harming, no matter what, is not positive energy. Yeah. So, 
Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that's just what I feel. I feel good when I do good. Yeah. You don't feel anything when you do bad. Some, sometimes you'll even feel guilty for it. That sounds right to me. I don't think that's wrong at all. Cool. I think that just not hurting people and not making not discriminating is just a good thing, no matter where you are. I think trying to uplift people too, especially people who are aspiring to be better and do yeah. better things, like encourage those people. The people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that usually do. So watch yeah. out. Just look at Elon Musk. Guys single handedly changing the world. Yeah. But uh I but think I think it's a good uh time to segue into our little segments yeah. of movie and music. Yeah. So uh I this week it's the I finally got the Godfather trilogy done. And Godfather Part Three was uh it was okay, I guess. Um, uh, it's obviously not as good as the other two. I have a feeling there was some... Same characters? Not really, no. This is like a... Whole new cast? Yeah, like this is like um, 20 or so years after the the uh, second one because the second one was filmed in like 1974 and this one came out in 1990 oh my goodness so now al pacino was old yeah he's looking pretty old like it's like i think like a decade ago when he was in scarface he looked way younger yeah. now and then he like now he has grit in this movie he has gray hair and stuff and he's like old. and his character mike of uh, mark michael corleone he has diabetes now so and uh yeah um the one thing that really brought this movie down was, can you believe that one actress kind of ruined the movie? And that was like, because compared to like all the other acting, which is decent, decent to really good, like Al Pacino, really good. Diane Keaton, really good. Uh, what's his name? Um, Andrew, Andrew Garcia. I think that's it. Yeah. The guy who plays Vincent Corleone. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, but then there's Sophia Coppola, and she is so wooden, so stiff. Her performance is just so awful that, like, her line, like when she delivers her lines, it's just like, oh my gosh, this is this literally just ruined the movie for me. This who one thought, performance. Who thought this was okay? Like originally, here's the thing: Winona Ryder was supposed to play. That character, I can't even remember her name. Her performance was so bad, I can't remember her name. Well, is the that, character's is name. Is that when Wanna Ryder when she was doing all her drugs and got? No, I think that was later. She was like in her prime at this time, but she oh. dropped from the role, and she probably wouldn't been way better in the like in this part than Sofia Coppola was, because this was like Sofia Coppola's first acting role, and her only acting role, because later she went on to be a pretty good director, like her father. Uh, but it's just like that one performance just kind of brings the movie down to like what probably would have been a great movie. To a subpar movie? Yeah, to a subpar movie. And it feels pretty bad. Uh, and also, um, uh, like, I think Andy Garcia, his character, like, is a great character, but he feels underdeveloped. Like, there was supposed to be a fourth movie with him, but, uh, the original author of uh the godfather book yes godfather's based off a book um he died because he was like also helped write those movie the movies mm -hmm. and um and so uh a fourth film never came out and i wonder what it would have liked been like if it had andy garcia in the role because andy garcia is a pretty good actor uh and, um, yeah, at the end, uh, Michael Corleone, played by Al Pacino, he dies alone at the end of the movie because his daughter, oh yeah, spoilers, spoiler talk, his daughter at the end, uh, she gets shot in the chest and this is the most heart-wrenching scene, are you ready? She gets shot and she like falls on her knees and she goes, dad, and then falls over and dies. That's how she says, she goes, dad. She's just like that. Yeah, dad. Dad, instead of like, yeah. 
dad. It's like, dad, dad. Like, she doesn't get ev- ev- give any emotion to it. She, like, before she's like, dad, why are you doing this to me, dad? Come on, dad. Dad. I don't know why you... Like, sounds like... She kind of reminds me of, like, Morty. It's like, dad, come on. Why are you doing this to me, dad? Come on, dad. It's like, oh, it's probably, gosh. like... <laughs> Your acting, <laughs> your acting career. Yeah, and then an assassin, yeah. an assassin tries to kill uh, Michael Corleone, and it hits her daughter. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, yeah, and then it's supposed to have dramatic stuff. And I gotta admit, Al Pacino tried to save the scene where he's like, no, ah! and it's like really convincing, and so is Diane Keaton and everyone else. But just, just uh, Sofia Coppola, she's that wooden dad. Like, it's so bad. Sh- this movie could have been great. But it wasn't. But uh, thank you, Sophia Coppola. You ruined it. Thank you. I. I but I'm, I'm glad you're uh, now a director. I mean, acting wasn't probably your... your uh, forte. Yeah, forte. So, but hey. There's always can't, next time. Go get, go get him, Tiger. So the, the next week's movie... Uh, we already picked it out. Oh yeah, it was Goodfellas. Yeah. Oh yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch Goodfellas, and then next week I'll probably start a TV show. I'm thinking starting Breaking Bad again. That'll be. Good. I don't know if I'm gonna start where I picked up or start season two over. Maybe just start the whole show over, but we'll see. Uh, so that's it for my movie segment, and I'll take over. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do want to mention. <laughs> I saw this and I watched the first episode on Netflix and I really enjoyed it. It's called Everything Sucks on Netflix. It's kind of like a, a 90s based uh, TV show about. It just sc- came out. High school, yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I watched the first episode. It was good. Check it out, maybe. And speaking Netflix. of race, uh, black black dad and a, I mean, a black mom black and a white mom dad. Black mom and a white dad. And also a black kid and a white girl. And also, Stranger Things, uh, Lucas hooks up with Max, black and white. I think I think the world's trying to tell us something. I think there is something positive after all. I agree. That if it was okay in the 80s and 90s, it's okay now. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I guess I'll... The music that I want to recommend yeah. for today, and uh, this is also another classic throwback to... This one's actually the yeah. 80s. Um, Skid Row. If you don't know Skid Row, go check them out. They uh, have a song, which I'm sure you've heard. Skid Row was really popular in the 80s and early 90s. Yeah. And uh, the song I'm talking about is called I Remember You. Go check it out. If uh, if you want to hear some sweet 80s ballads, yeah. Skid Row. They're a pretty cool band. And also, uh, I, I've heard some of that, and I recommend the song You've Gone Wild. Youth very, Gone Wild. It's a very hard rocking song. Very hard rock. So I remember very energetic. it's kind of like a love ballad, yeah. but Youth Gone Wild, very energetic, very powerful rock ballad. Not even a ballad, very, very powerful rock track. So yeah. go check it out. Hard rock. Hard freaking and rock. And also the lead singer has probably like one of the most musical names ever, Sebastian Bach. Yeah. It is a very musical name. Yeah. His parents probably n- raised him and named him. They're like, yeah. you know what? We're going to name you Sebastian Bach, and you're going to be the lead singer for a killer 80s band. Yeah. Probably didn't know what 80s music was going to be like, but it's like, you know what? You're going to go into music. I know. It's crazy how yeah. just from decade to decade, music changes so yeah. much. Like, go listen from the 60s to the 70s, and, and it's similar, but then you go listen from the 70s to the 80s, big jump. Yeah. Go listen to the 80s and then the 90s, humongous jump. Yeah. It is like completely night different. and day. And then you go listen from the 90s to the 2000s, and you're like, oh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of would jump. Yeah, that's when backwards. pop music became popular. And then listen from like 2000, 2010, and like, like actually just go house music, like electronic music yeah. from 2000, 2010. Uh, and electronic you're like, music came to be. And then you're like, whoa. Well, actually, I think electronic music actually was underground for like a lot of the 80s. Very much yeah. so. Like it was there. You can go look up electronic music like Axel F. That was 80s. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. But, but uh, I think, you know, like fun fact, I think dubstep started in the 90s as an underground thing. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like punk rock. Punk rock yeah. was underground forever. Yeah. And, like, if you made it, then you were looked down upon. 
by the punk rockers. Uh, you could go watch the Green Day documentary about it. They had the same issue where they were total punk rock, hardcore, but it was all underground. And they wanted to keep their niche and they didn't want to like spread. But then Green Day got signed and they kind of left the whole punk rock scene. I mean, they were still punk rock when they were touring, but you can see Green Day from when they first started to Green Day now. And it's it's really different. Yeah. But hey, like, without them getting popular, we wouldn't know about Green Day. Yeah, evolution. Green Day is a great band. Has some killer popular songs that still play on the radio today. Yeah. So yes, music, Skid Row, go check them out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so anything else you want to talk about? Um, I mean, I guess we could talk about the whole Logan Paul thing. He screwed up again. Yeah. You just happened like two weeks ago, one yeah, week ago. You think after, yeah. after your huge screw up the first time, <laughs> <laughs> you would like... I don't know. Filter your content. Make make sure yeah. you watch it one or a thousand times to make sure you don't put something out there that people wouldn't like. And which, if you probably know about it, if you go on YouTube a lot and watch a lot of drama, or just go on YouTube in general and watch any of your like your favorite YouTubers that like to talk about stuff like this. But uh, Logan Paul did something pretty disgusting. It wasn't. Wasn't well, involve a dead body, but there was a dead thing. D- Logan Paul just can't uh, like <laughs> keep Logan away just, from dead yeah, stuff. Just stay away from dead things. Uh, so there was a rat on his dead porch, and uh, rather than like say, "Oh look, there's a dead rat," you let's just throw away. He pulls out a taser <laughs> and tases it. It's like one of those taser guns yeah. that you actually shoot. Yeah, and like the prongs come out. Oh and man, stick into you, and like he stuck the rats like. No dead rat is not getting, like, he says something stupid, like, no dead rat goes untased in my house. It's like, what? Okay, okay, D- Jake Paul, uh, or Logan Paul, they're interchangeable. <laughs> Same okay, I'm concerned that you have a taser gun to begin with, because I know you probably do stupid stuff like this, he probably but... probably shoots his friends and himself with Yeah, them. but... Please just put the taser gun down. Do not. I I'm concerned that you have a taser gun. Yeah. And and you know a lot of people hate Logan and Jake Paul. I personally don't know them. I've seen some of the crap they've done, and yeah, they made mistakes. But and oh, also uh, Logan Paul's like all his ads have been pulled off. Yep, of he is YouTube. now a demonetized temporarily. But he is demonetized from YouTube. Yeah. If he, he, I feel like he keeps pushing his luck. He's gonna yeah. get shut down. He, I mean, his whole his channel. channel's gonna get. <laughs> yeah, just. Oh yeah, there's also another clip I saw earlier where uh, he was at the Olympics. Uh, I think it was like the Summer Olympics, like 2012. Was that Summer Olympics or Winter? I think it was Summer. Yeah, so he's at the Summer Olympics. Every time he was showing on camera, he was doing the good old dab. Like he was super dabbing stuff like that, and his friend he had his friend there too. I don't I don't recognize him, but and uh, it's like okay whatever he's just acting like a goofball on camera. But then there was like a an anthem playing where people were just standing there, and there was the camera right there. Jake Paul couldn't resist, and so he was like during an anthem, like a like, national like a, a, a national anthem oh, of a country. Yeah. It's like that is disrespectful, Logan Paul. <laughs> How dare you? Like, <gasps> no. Like, just stand there and be a good boy. Even if there's a camera right there, just... That's disrespect to a country, man. Come on. Well, I guess the Japanese thing wasn't the first disrespectful thing he's done. Yeah. So, I don't know. Logan Paul, if you ever see this video, you are a human being. I love you for that. Some of the things you've done I don't agree with, but uh, I'm sure you've received enough backlash and... Thrown in your face that uh Yeah. Oh yeah the you don't need it for me. Oh yeah, the the rat was a mother, it had a baby next to it, and they're both dead. And so then he dealt with the baby too. <laughs> well, see, like I understand. People kill mice and they kill rats. <coughs> they don't like them in their house. Kill I, I it, don't like mice it, either. Yeah, kill it, but leave it at that. Don't disgrace the body. Yeah. Like I do not like go around and like hack up dead animals. I'm not messed up like that. Uh, 
I'm not some kind of serial killer of animals. That's how that's how serial killers start. They kill animals. Some of them, at least, start killing animals when they're young, and that's when they start to become serial killers. So, if you're a kid and you're killing animals, stop. Mm -hmm. Stop right now and go get help, please, because we don't want you to become a serial killer. <laughs> Seriously, especially yeah. after the whole Florida thing. Gosh. Yeah, oh, gosh. That I, was a nightmare. I was. I you could yeah. see footage. Yeah. Like There was kids that... Um, where they recorded Snapchat videos and like recording videos of like you can see one where this guy is filming the killer shooting the gun like you can hear the gunshots and everything and oh my you gosh. can see dead bodies on the floor like it is a it is a mess and I'm just like oh my gosh like yeah which you know what our school system does this and I'm sure this helps out tons but. Uh, what they do is you can't even get into the school. You have to press a PA button and talk to somebody that is inside the school, like that unlocks the door, which is great. That's the same as the uh, elementary school I work at. There's a PA. Yeah, it needs to be that way at all schools. So <laughs> no random joke. Just walk in and start lighting the place up. Like yeah, I think schools need to have security. They need to have cops around them at all times. Yeah. Which I know sucks, but, like, if you're going to continue to have kids going to public schools, I mean, how many school shootings do we need to happen before we do something about it, you know? Yeah. How many? Of course, this guy was a former student. I like, know. he was done with high school. And but but you he, could, you, well, he got expelled. He yeah. never graduated. Oh. You can go read his whole story. That the, I'm sure the kid's not all the way there. He yeah. doesn't look like it, but. I don't know, man. If you're and if That's you're thinking, we need if you're thinking about uh, shooting up a school or shooting a place, stop. Get some think. help. Get some. Yeah, well, Michael Jordan me was side. No, seriously, stop and go get some professional help because uh, that's like. That's something that you shouldn't. That's like, terrible. Yeah, like, it's a well, terrible. You can thing. look at the photo of the kid, and he yeah. just looks lifeless. Like there's no like, feeling inside you his would, body. Like why would you think uh, taking other people's lives make you feel better? Y you're gonna be in a whole lot worse situation when you kill a bunch of people because you thought I'm gonna take my vengeance out on something. You no, go get professional help. We're serious. And if you're also having suicidal thoughts, you should go get help for that too. Just, yeah, I just wanted to say that because, you know, suicide is also a pretty bad thing these days. Yeah. That kid who shot up the school was also probably suicidal, so. Well, once you got nothing left to live for, like, the kid's story sounds horrible. I think yeah. his parents both died, and I'm sure he experienced, yeah. he, like, was experimenting with drugs and stuff, but. Anyway, if you need help, there's help out there. Go look for it. <laughs> you can find it. Talk to your friends or family, or if you're in school, talk to just talk to somebody. You know, yeah. if you need help, help will be there to be given. So, but I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. This podcast was a little. It wasn't. It wasn't a very happy podcast. Yeah, I know. But Maybe I, we'll I feel like these were things that needed yeah. needed to be said. Yeah. Like the it, world's not getting any happier. So maybe we should next week we should have a. Although I'm not really going to review a happy film. But, you know, we'll try to make it happy. We'll try to make it happy next week. Maybe we'll talk about some something that makes us happy next week. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know what? Let's do that. For next week, I want you guys to go to our Twitter page, which will be linked in the yeah. description, and tag at Radcats. I think it's at Radcats55. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, tag at Radcats. We have, a, we have a link down below. Yeah, it's linked yeah. down below. Anyway, all I want you to do is... Tell us something that makes you happy, and uh, we'll feature it in next week's podcast. Yeah. Also, we might have a very special guest on next week's podcast. Um, he is a former musician, guitarist for a band, and yeah. uh, he's got some killer rock star stories. So yeah. I, that that's not a guarantee, but we are still trying to get in contact with him. So that will be groovy. Yeah. So... Thank you for watching, you and uh, we'll see you next week on Talking Rad, the podcast. Stay fresh. Keep it rad. Goodbye.